So, um, yeah, I'm sure you know the topic of discussion yeah, today. I, uh, I know that we're often taught, especially in schools, right. it's Columbus Day, Thanksgiving, that it's right. a racist holiday. Uh, I don't agree. I think it's a, a wonderful holiday that should uh, unify the nation. I think it has done me good, will do me good. I say God bless it. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. And if you disagree, you're more than welcome to change my mind. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to scooch in, you can't, so you don't have to lean. Yeah. So I, Thanksgiving is actually my favorite holiday as well. Oh. I think that where people, where it gets controversial is the origin story that we're taught about it. Sure. That um, Native Americans and pilgrims um, peacefully got together sure. and um, shared a meal and that's the story that kids are taught that's kind of the narrative that we push especially now that it's, you're dressed as a pilgrim um i but, appreciate that you recognize yeah, the garb um, this wasn't all for naught <laughs> but um i saw a video um that was made in 2015 and it's from cut.com mm -hmm. and it's a video that is a series of interviews um that they interview Native Americans and they ask them to describe Thanksgiving in one word, right? Sure. And these people say massacre, um, racist, um, false holiday, um, sure. unpeaceful, these kinds of things. So I think if we're asking um, Native Americans how they feel about the holiday and that's what they're saying, then shouldn't we listen to them? Oh, sure, you can listen to them. It doesn't mean that that's what the holiday is. Okay, so. So before we get to why is it your favorite holiday? Um, I really like cooking and oh. eating. And I, that's what the holiday is about for me. It's about giving thanks to the people in my life. Um, I just think that when people talk about how Thanksgiving what, what is- What are you most thankful for? Um, I guess being able to go home to my family and having that's that a good meal. One. Good. Yeah, right. But I think that when people are talking about how Thanksgiving is controversial, that's what they're talking about. So how, sure. do, you, how do you come back to that? Well, it's incorrect. It's incorrect, okay. Yeah, it's incorrect. So Thanksgiving is a celebration of, uh, in the 1620s, when the, uh, the Pilgrim settlers did have a meal of Thanksgiving with the, uh, the I think it's pronounced uh, Wampanoag. Is that, do you know, I wanna yeah, make sure I'm getting that right, Wampanoag. Uh, Wampanoag. And they did celebrate and then had, uh, had 50 years of peace after that. Now, if we want to talk about the fact that there have been some acts of barbarism committed. Some uh, acts. Yeah, of course, committed against Native Americans, and of course, committed against Native Americans from Native Americans themselves, uh, obviously. Um, yeah, that happened, obviously, throughout the historical timeline, but that didn't happen at Thanksgiving. And uh, it's interesting because, you know, do you know when Thanksgiving was recognized officially as a federal holiday? So this is why I actually think it's the least racist holiday okay. out there, uh, because it's proactively a holiday designed to symbolize unity. It was uh, Abraham Lincoln who wanted to, after the Civil War, after some, here, do you mind if I yeah, pause real quick? Because I don't have that kind of poll. <laughs> I assume there's a hunchback up there who <laughs> has an Antifa face mask. Um, so after uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, actually very soon after, Abraham Lincoln thought it would be a good idea to have a national holiday that symbolized unity uh, for all Americans at this point, black Americans, white Americans, and so they did look back to that 1921 original Thanksgiving that symbolized the old world converging with the new world in 50 years of peace. Okay. So in looking to create a unifying holiday across all racial divides, he looked to a moment in early American history, before we were officially a country, where that happened as well. So that's why we celebrate Thanksgiving. But even if if something proactively promotes unity, if there are people who don't feel that way, sure. then those people were marginalized and affected by the acts of barbarism that that you just that you said happened. But not by, not by Thanksgiving. Did it happen throughout history? Sure. But yeah, not by Thanksgiving. But that's but if Thanksgiving is about a moment of unity between pilgrims and Native Americans, yeah. but the rest of the time that those two peoples interacted was filled with violence and inequality, yeah. then why is it just that day? Well, a couple of things. First off, it wasn't the rest of the time. It, it was, was so most of the time. Many, no. Millions of Native American people died because of colonial people coming over. Yeah, well, well, it's estimated actually about 50% of Native Americans. That's, probably were that's half the people. That's yeah. a lot of people. Do you know how many of the settlers were wiped out? That, they came here. 30%. So, in other words, it's not a genocide. As, uh, it is I believe. a genocide. Well, it's actually not a genocide, uh, by definition. Um, I mean, I don't they know, brought I, the disease. Well, hold on a second, guys. Let's just keep the conversations between 
two folks. They did bring disease. Yeah, they did bring disease with them, and it did wipe out um, quite a few Native Americans. That was actually before the Thanksgiving. You know, that's why they came back to an abandoned village. I'm sure you're aware of that because they were wiped out by diseases. Well, that largely they hadn't encountered because they hadn't domesticated most animals yet. You know, they hadn't domesticated horses. They had no contact with horses. They were technologically very regressive. They didn't use the wheel. Um, so what happened was there was a moment of peace there for 50 years. Uh, we had a large, a very long portion of history that was very peaceful with Native Americans. There were multiple alliances between new settlers and Native Americans because Native Americans were warring with each other. And we do choose, though, as a holiday to celebrate this moment of unity. We choose to celebrate a positive moment. I mean, you can look at Veterans Day or Memorial Day. Well, there are horrible actions yeah, I feel that were the committed. same way about those holidays as well. Oh, you do? I do. Same thing with Fourth of July? Yes. Same thing with Christmas? Yeah. Ramadan? I'm Muslim, yep. Okay, because obviously slavery is still practiced across the, the Islamic world. So you believe that... Okay. No? Is it not? I mean, it's practiced across the entire world. Not, not just the United the States. Islam not just the well, Islamic not the United world. States. Well, the world isn't the, the United States versus the Islamic world, is it? It's the world, the Islamic world, all different kinds of parts. Well, in comparison to, example, the settlers in modern America. The point is, but we're not celebrating that with Ramadan, are we? We're not celebrating the Spanish Inquisition when we celebrate Christmas, right? Christians committed some horrible actions. And we're not celebrating war with Native Americans when we celebrate Thanksgiving. We're celebrating a moment of peace and unity because it shows that it can be done. I think what people want is an like, acknowledgement that these things happened. I've already done that. Right? Yeah. Which, an acknowledgement of these racist things that did happen and implying that maybe the narrative that we push isn't true and that acknowledging that there was a disagreement and violence between these people. Sure. I think people just want that acknowledgement and by out flat out saying Thanksgiving is not racist, I think a better way it's to not. say I think you could say these things did happen and this is what it's based on and Thanksgiving has evolved and to become well, something else. But that doesn't mean I'm going to erase the opinions of Native Americans who suffered. Well who erased opinions of Native Americans who suffered? That's not what I'm doing. By saying Thanksgiving isn't inherently racist, you are erasing that. So in other words, unless I say that Thanksgiving is inherently racist, I am erasing the opinion of all Native Americans. Yeah. I mean not all, but those who feel that Thanksgiving is racist. Well, just because and they, they were, the, feel marginal, that, I'm but not they were the marginalized group, you know, and we're pushing this well, narrative that they were happy to have. At like, Thanksgiving, they were, and for 50 years, they were. Okay. So wasn't that a good thing? I've heard that that dinner didn't happen. It did happen. Okay. Not only, did, and I, I've also heard this. You know, people try to go to uh, the Winthrop Diaries uh, later, and I believe it was in the 1630s where they had Thanksgivings during times of war against the Pequots. Uh, but that wasn't all the same thing. That was they were thankful for during battle that they had fewer casualties. And so I think that's probably what you're conflating. They teach that often in school. I know it's kind of interesting that you say we don't teach any of this. When I went to college, when I went to high school, I was only taught about colonialism and how awful the settlers were. I never taught. I was never taught, for example, of all the warring between the tribes, of the cannibalism of the scalping that they were doing. I was taught that they were peaceful people and these settlers came in and stole their land when the reality was they were warring, they were barbaric. We had many years of peace. We came in, we purchased land, we traded. We had a healthy trading relationship for a while. And they were barbaric? Evolve. They lived here. This was their land. Yeah, they were certainly barbarians. You could argue that the colonialists were barbarians for coming in and taking their land. I certainly would say that colonialists were barbaric compared to us today. And I would certainly say that Native Americans uh, were barbaric in their practices compared to the colonialists. Well, just because you don't agree and understand with something doesn't make it barbaric. Well, I just mean, you know, the fact that they didn't have plumbing That's, or use the wheel. They didn't have plumbing? No, they didn't have plumbing. The Romans that did. That doesn't make them su inferior to no, other people. No, it just people. means it's barbaric. Okay. And when I'm talking about barbaric, I'm talking about less evolved technologically and societally. Okay, so a definition rather than the connotation. Yes, definition rather than the connotation. connotation. So you yes. seem to be someone who ignores connotations. No, I don't. Because Thanksgiving has a negative connotation in some people's eyes, but you're ignoring that connotation. So does Christmas. Yeah, so does Christmas. But you I, don't talk about that either? I do talk about Christmas. I love Christmas. I think it's wonderful and should be celebrated. I know that you've made it clear that you disagree. You don't like Christmas, you don't like Ramadan, you don't like Easter, you don't like Thanksgiving. I believe that there are certain moments throughout American history, I let the 4th of July, independence, that can be celebrated regardless of imperfections throughout history. And I think that's important to note. And I think that it's a good thing to honor and show that there can be a moment in time of peace because we had it for 50 years, regardless of the wars that happened before we came here. Does, but do centuries that, outweigh 50 years? Do you think Native Americans are thankful for being put on reservations? Like, centuries after you mean Thanksgiving? mean being given reservations after being. they lost wars? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So you don't like any of the holidays, okay? And you say that I'm completely ignoring someone's opinion if I don't agree with them. No, that's not what I said. I said that you're ignoring the opinion of marginalized people who the holiday affects, who the glorification of the holiday negatively affects because it erases what they say happened to them. And they were here first, so sure. they should have a say in what the narrative is about. Yeah, I'm no one saying they can't have a say. I don't believe it's a racist holiday. But that's by not, erasing someone's experience, by, I mean erasing someone's experience is a form of racism. Erasing someone's experience and reframing it in. But I didn't erase anybody's experience. But by by saying it isn't racist, you are erasing someone's experience. No. Yes, you are. Inherently. Incorrect. Why? That's not the definition of racism. What's the definition of racism? Definition of racism is believing that somebody is inferior solely based on their race. That's prejudice. Racism is institutionalized no. discrimination. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Well, I'm not an institution, so right now we're going with the individualized definition of and racism. And you're ignoring the institutionalized racism. And you just accuse me racism. individually of being racist. You are by so let, me, let me ask you this. Maybe we can find some common ground here, because you said you love Thanksgiving, uh, but you don't like the holidays. What should we do then? Right? Contact is made between two civilizations, for example. This happens, right? One has rifles and one has wheels and, 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 and horses and they engage in peace. And then there are land disputes when land was purchased. So let's just get rid of what we have right now. What would you do? You would have no Thanksgiving? What would we do? What should the United States be? I'm genuinely curious. I think just an acknowledgement, like everyone should acknowledge what happened. Yes, I believe everyone does. I don't think so. I have. Okay. So, I, so is it okay to acknowledge that there were uh, acts of, of horrible evil and violence across all sides and still celebrate Thanksgiving for what it is? Is that okay? That's a good question. I haven't thought that far. Do you think that it is better to celebrate Thanksgiving and recognize a moment of unity and encourage it both with the early settlers, uh, the early pilgrims and the Native Americans, as well as after the Civil War? Do you think it's more productive to have a day to celebrate that and encourage that kind of unity and bridging that cultural divide? Or do you think it's less productive? I think it's performative. So if something Like virtue is, signaling? Yeah. So okay. if something's performative, then does it really do the good that you're describing? What good am I describing? The unity, the unity that you're describing. Like if I, something I is performative, then is that unity really there or is it a performative unity which doesn't actually? Well, I think, I mean, you just talked about Thanksgiving cooking and spending time with family. I mean, that's, that's unity right there, right? That's prioritizing giving thanks. I mean, I think that Thanksgiving, honestly, is the least exclusive holiday. Christian, you know, Chris, Christmas, For Christianity Christian. would exclude people of Why, other religions. Why, because it's secular? Ramadan would exclude people of other religions, you know. Um, you can take your pick from any of the religious holidays. Thanksgiving is, be thankful for what it is that you do have, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a well, Buddhist, you whether you're Muslim. Well, are you and your family going to talk about what happened to the Native Americans? I mean, we've talked about it all, all, all throughout my life, and I learned about it are in you school. Gonna talk about, are you going to acknowledge it at the dinner table? I don't know. Do you I should. have to? You should. Okay. Right? No? Why not? I didn't say I wouldn't. You should. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me what I should and should not do You're in welcome. my personal time. You're welcome. And you wouldn't think that that, is, uh, that at all in any way is overstepping bounds or being pushy? No. no. Okay. I don't. All right, well, maybe you should discuss with uh, your family the, uh, the history that you learned that wasn't accurate that you brought here to the table. And maybe you can all get an accurate account of what happened historically. And uh, maybe discuss as well the acts of barbarism that still go on since you're Muslim across the Islamic world. Do you do that at Ramadan? Yeah, I do actually. You do? Yeah, I do. So what do you discuss at Ramadan? Um, I discuss Indentured how... Indentured servitude? I like to discuss how I think that Islam itself isn't in certain Middle Eastern countries, how it's equal for women. Sure. And as a woman, and as a Muslim woman who was raised Muslim, I believe that that's an equal, and I will acknowledge that. I like to acknowledge how their Saudi Arabia, for example, is um, guilty of hypocrisy. You know, the royal family has so much money. I know you're talking a lot lower right now. Yeah, I am. Is it because you're concerned about criticizing Islam? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe huh. that's just ingrained in me. Well, that's, that's peculiar. Yeah, it is. Nice talking to you. Well, I appreciate it. And I appreciate your, your intellectual honesty there and, uh, and that you have those discussions. I don't, by the way, I don't think you need to do that at Ramadan. 
I think that enjoying Ramadan for the holiday that it is and celebrating it with your family is a wonderful thing regardless of, listen, it, it, Muslims are imperfect, Christians are imperfect, uh, Native Americans are certainly imperfect. Uh, if you go back to old colonial England, and Church of England are certainly imperfect, but um, the Irish are certainly imperfect, but I, it's not my business to I tell think, them what they need to discuss on St. Patrick's Day. just when I saw that video and when I've talked to Native American people mm -hmm. and just heard about what happened, I just have empathy for what they say. Sure. And it just makes it difficult to not st speak up for them. I have empathy. Here's the thing. I, I you hope know what I mean? Like it's I have empathy as well, but I also, you can also have empathy and understand that what people are saying is inaccurate. For example, I have a relative who's bipolar, okay? I'm not saying Native Americans are bipolar. This is an example. I hope you understand this, right? Uh, I have an, a relative who's bipolar, and he will describe situations or scenarios that are not real. And you have empathy for him? And I have empathy for him, but it's not necessarily accurate. And so I love him, and I care about him, and I let him know that I love him and I, I care about him, but I, I don't engage on the plane, on the wavelength, that what you're saying is accurate. I don't and think I can you have can empathy. compare a severe mental illness to... Uh, uh, the way people feel about We're not supposed to use the term injustice. mental illness anymore. Yes, you are. Depending on what it is, depending on how it's defined by the DSM-5. I'm, ment I'm mentally ill and I use that term. I'm definitely mentally ill. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, again, I'm not, I was saying I'm not comparing bipolar to Native American. I was saying that I can, one can have empathy without necessarily agreeing with the premise as far as its accuracy. So I can have empathy for Native Americans saying, hey, Thanksgiving to me represents all of these wars that occurred and these battles and genocide, and I can say, hey, you know, I understand how you feel, but that's not what Thanksgiving is celebrating. And I can say, I understand how you feel, but there also wasn't mass genocide committed, if you actually look at it. There was mass genocide committed. And by definition, it wasn't genocide. There were wars, and one side won. One-sided war, mind you, but, you know, there was that, that, by that definition, there was genocide with the, the Mohawks and the Mohicans, the Algonquins and the Iroquois. I mean, they would cannibalize people in front of their family, right? If, if one of them had advanced technology, in other words, one of them were as advanced as the early settlers, this would all be Mohawk country. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't a peaceful culture. Everyone, right, this is human nature. And I think that taking a holiday and removing the grace from it, removing the beauty of this holiday, which is meant to symbolize unity and giving thanks, to simply re-inject what is human nature, acts of evil that occurred not during this holiday, but somewhere in a timeline, I don't think helps uh, promote healing, I think if anything, it's, it's, it's divisive. So we can agree that the idea, do we agree that the idea of Thanksgiving in your head has shifted into something else? Not a celebration of, or not an erasure of racism, but a celebration of unity. Yes, is that what you think? Thanksgiving is a celebration. Of unity? And it, and it always has been. But why it's can't a celebration it be, of giving why thanks. Why can't it be a celebration of unity and like an acknowledgement of the erasure? You can do that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm that. arguing. Yeah. I just think that if people are going to do that, it also needs to be accurate. So if people are going to teach, for example, in, and I think we would both agree, right, on college campus, you guys are certainly not taught that, oh, the settlers were great and it was peaceful. That's certainly not what's being taught on campus. I have to go to class. Oh, okay, all right, thank you. What seems was your name like again? Safa, seems Safa. like no one can change your mind, so. I appreciate it, Safa. Thanks, Safa. Well, I thought that was a good conversation, no? Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10:15 Eastern.